below. Got a bit of a cold today. But we are combining um, Planet Spring Barley. And I just wanted to show people the moisture. I bought a new moisture meter, so I just want to show people and show people what it does. So this is uh, it's called a protometer. This is it just here. So with this new one, you can now download an app which connects your phone to this, which I'll show you in a minute. So you scan the QR code. So in this box, we have a little brush just here. And we use that to wipe the uh, wipe the sensor. We don't want to wipe it with our fingers because our fingers contain moisture and it could give us a false reading. So we'll just give that a little wipe. And then we've got this thing called a quick check, which is this. So if we put that on there like that. We can then, it should say 15.9. If it says anything else, we know that um, it's out of calibration. So this obviously always tells us if it's in calibration. Who can see that? Oh, look, brand new. It's obviously going to be in calibration. Take that off there. This bit here goes on here to. Uh, Hold the corn in, I'll show you in a minute. And we use a little this little scoop. This is the amount we need to go into this thing. So we'll take this out of here. Put that just there. Then this is what grind we want to grind the corn up and then this compresses it as well. So if I well, just, uh, come on, pull this to bits. So take this in half, look. And it gives us this like Grind a little, you see the knives. Just take that, that pulls apart so it'll just come out of there. So that falls through and then it goes down into this. So that sits on there like that. And you can change them if you want to. I've got a spare one just here. Like that. One of them, spare. They don't really wear out to be honest, they are quite good. So and then that goes back in there, like that. This goes on the top. And then let's put some corn in it and uh, see what it does. So we now have our sample of corn. We need to make sure it is on because it will do loads of different things, you see. So at the moment it's on coffee, look. How do we change it? Let's press that. There you go, look, corn. Let me see that, there we go. Sunflowers, linseed, canola, barley. Well, that's what we want, we want barley, but OSR, oats, wheat, you get it. There's loads of different ones in there. So we want to set it on barley. And then we want to put a little sample into there, like that. And then this, this is like, this is the plunger mode. So when you ground it up, it, it puts like a plunger down to compress it into the uh, sensor. But we want it on the grinder mode first. So we then turn this in those knives, like we saw a minute ago. And here it grinding it up. Just turn it a few times. The drier the corn is, the, the quicker it is you go through. So that's that's pretty much empty now. And we line these little things up on top. Now like that. And then we change that to the plunger. So then it and we turn that until it can't go anymore. Like that. And if we press the green one here, it should tell us what the moisture is. 14%, 22.6 degrees. So then what I can do as well, I can transfer those figures onto my phone, which I'll show you now on this app. So sorry that it's sideways, but I can't get it on the screen otherwise. So I've got to connect first. So I'm going to tap to connect. So there's my protometers. You can, uh, you know, go on different protometers and I can either go to my stores or my fields. So we'll go to my fields. There we go, Tom Ron's field. And then we're going to record new measurement in crop measurement. And then if I hold this, it then transfers the data onto the app. Like, there we go. So now I'm going to save that into the app. 
and then I can go in here and then I can create a bar like a like a line graph or a bar chart and there is the first measurement I've saved in this moisture meter so I can fill this right up with saved measurements and then go back and go onto this graph and it'll create like a bit of a picture over time and then the next thing we can do as well down the bottom bale measurement so I'm going to do a bale measurement so then after that we wind the plunger back off which is what I've just done unscrew that there is our sample there like that because it's been compressed push it out with your finger So now I've plugged this temperature probe in, it's a bit of an old probe now but it still works with these so I can go over to the heap, this is one of the heaps of spring barley, I want to get up the heap really but I don't want to get all stuff in my trainers, so I'll stuff that in there, like that, 18.9, 19 degrees in there, is it going to go up anymore if I shove it in? It's probably a bit warmer up in the top of the heap. 19.3, it is a light. You know, we'll have the fans on soon to get that cooled down. Pull that back out. And then I can save those results as well. So, I'll, you know, if I press that, I can transfer it over to the app. And then I can put it into the stores section. And then you can, like, have a, like a bit of a bar chart, I suppose, for... All your different stores, like store one, store two, store three, store four, whatever, whatever you want. And then you can store it all into wherever you want so that you don't have to keep writing it all down. So it's all saved on your phone, which is uh, quite helpful, actually. So regarding bales, we've got this stick. And it's compatible with either the Prometer Bale Master, which I'm going to use. Or we can use it with that one. Like that, but let's have a go with this one. So we're going to get this spike. And we're going to shove this in these bales. Arrgh, shoving it in my gut. Look at that. Oh, yeah. But 9.3 dry. And then if I do it on the uh, on the other machine, I can uh, obviously transfer it onto the app and it will record all the temperatures of the bales. What we don't want, though, I'll show you. I did show you this in one of my other videos. It's really sensitive, look. So there we have it. So there we have it, a bit of a walkthrough of what um, what the moisture meter does and uh, what we do with it. The stuff that comes in, we want it anything below 15% really. So, um, you know, some, a lot of the time you can't harvest till the afternoon when it's dried. So yeah, uh, any questions, put them in the comments and uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TomLam980 and I'll uh, see, you in, see you in the next video soon.